Hey guys, it's Lane Blake from Redefine Horizons, and in this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview, hopefully 10 minutes or less, of how you can work with Kanban boards in Basecamp. Uh, so Basecamp has a, a cool new feature called Card Tables, which is uh, basically a Kanban board. Um, if you don't know what a Kanban board is, check out my videos on uh, this channel on Trello. Uh, that'll teach you a little bit about Kanban boards, so I am a heavy Trello user. Um, and Trello is uh, all Kanban boards all the time. Um, it's a very handy tool. Uh, but we kind of outgrew Trello a little bit. Um, we needed we needed a little more functionality for project management here, and so we switched to Basecamp. And so now Basecamp has card tables, uh, so that's cool. I get to take my Trello, some of my Trello functionality over to Basecamp. So I want to show you how that works. Um, if you need a little more information on Kanban boards uh, besides what's in my videos, there's this article here on the Basecamp website, why your project projects need Kanban board. Check that out. It te teaches you about uh, what Kanban boards are, and then shows you how they work, and gives you some examples, some templates. Uh, the other thing I'm going to show you at the end of the video is how you can work with Tract. So Tract is a third-party uh, add-on for Basecamp. Um, it's, it's paid, uh, but it's relatively inexpensive. It's $3 a user a month, I think. Um, where you can get unlimited licenses, I think, for $99 a month. Um, so I'll show you. Um, I tried uh, Tracked Out a little while ago. It was a little bit buggy, um, but I've got it installed again for this demo. And I'll show you that. And there's some disadvantages and some advantages to, to each one of those types of Kanban boards in Basecamp. So we'll, we'll look at both. All right, so let's first look at how you can work with the built-in Kanban board in Basecamp. Basecamp calls it a card table. So I have our human resources project open here. I'm going to click on the three little dots here, the ellipsis, and I'm going to go to change tools. And then right down here, you can see card table is turned off. I'm going to um, enable card table. Um, and then I, I like to rename mine. Uh, so let's just, uh, let me think about, uh, I'm going to call this, uh, professional development okay. and we'll save our changes okay so now when I do that and I come back into the project view I've got this new uh, tool here professional development um, this is the what what they call the, the card table okay so uh, you can add cards here um, you can set up your uh, your list here don't drag stuff into these two boxes unless you never want to see them again. I haven't figured out how to get stuff out of there, but let me show you just how to add a new list. Uh, so first we're going we're gonna to rename this list. So professional development is uh, 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 meet with team member. That's the first thing we're supposed to do. Uh, and then we're going to say uh, our next step is uh, create list of goals. And then uh, we're going to say prepare preliminary plan. And then we're going to say uh, review and approve plan. And then we're going to say um, create uh, action items from plan. All right, and then we'll do one more. Uh, we're going to say 90-day uh, review. Okay. So this is something I need to work on uh, with Monique, our, our HR person, a little bit. Okay, then you can change these colors. Uh, they kind of have this uh, limited Skittles color scheme, which I don't love. So hopefully the folks at Basecamp will get us some more colors. Okay, so now we have our list set up, and we can add a card here. Um, and so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make this uh, super simple. Uh, so it's just going to be the name of the employee. So we'll put, put my name here. And we're going to assign this to Monique. She's our HR person. Okay, and then we're going to say uh, Landon um, has no idea what his career goals are for 2023. Okay, and I'm going to save that. 
Okay, now but just so you know, uh, I, one thing I like to do in Trello is I like to have a template card that I can then copy uh, so I don't have to retype all the stuff in this uh, in this box here. Um, it's not a big deal for this in this particular example, but um, so you can do that. Uh, you can do that here. So once you have a card set up, you can actually come in here and go to copy and then tell it uh, put this in uh, put this in the card table and then when you come back here um, now now I've got a copy right okay so you can set up a template and use it that way let's go ahead and delete this okay all right so now I've got my card and I can drop that down here we're gonna say all right uh, we need Monique needs to create a list of goals for Landon, and then as this person moves through the process, you can move the card. Okay. Now, what what are a couple of disadvantages uh, to the built-in card table right now? Uh, the main disadvantage, in my opinion, is whatever is on this card table um, has absolutely no relation to what's in your to-dos, uh, which is kind of a bummer. I think. Um, hopefully, they'll they'll enable that to be integrated. Um, however, it's not all bad uh, because in order to make that work, you, you would have to change. You could potentially have to change the way you structure your to-dos. So I don't know. Maybe it, it, maybe it's good that it, that it's independent, but I would like the option to integrate it. And we're going to see you can actually do that in Tract. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that with with, with Tract. Um, and the other kind of thing that bums me out a little bit is you can only have one Kanban board. It'd be kind of cool if you could have more than one Kanban board per project. But this is how they have it set up. I don't know if that will change in the future. Okay, so that's how the built-in card table works. Now, let me just take a couple minutes here, two or three minutes, to show you how track works. So I will try and remember to put this URL in the description for the for the folks at Tract. Um, so they've got they've got this add-on uh, that you can enable for Basecamp. So you can see it adds this Kanban board here. It's similar to a card table. Okay. Um, now, uh, the, so same thing here. You can set up your lists, right? Rename them. Um, uh, the, the list, this isn't quite as graphically appealing. Um, you can't color the cards and the lists are, are a little bit plain. Um, so the main advantage that this has over uh, the built-in card table, if you like it, is uh, you can come in and it'll actually, um, it actually connects your to-dos, to-do lists. Each to-do list in your project becomes a card on the Kanban board and track. Now, that's a little awkward for me because I, I don't typically structure my to-do list in that way. So what I would normally do is I would have uh, a to-do list and I would I would say uh, uh, preliminary uh, prepare preliminary uh, plans. And then I would have um, a checklist in here for each each employee. Okay, so my to-do list would, would mirror uh, the the list of cards in the Kanban board. Okay, but to get this to work in track, that's not that's not what you do. So instead, what you do is um, let me just delete this real quick. Sorry, guys. Uh, put in trash. Instead, what you do is you have to make your list represent your card. So in this case, every employee would be their own list. Okay, and then each phase in the pipeline uh, would would be your task. Uh, so this will be uh, prepare preliminary plan, and then let's just say a 90 day review, just to give you a couple examples. Okay. Um, okay. So now when I come into my Kanban board with Tract, uh, Landon Blake shows up as a card, and I can move that, and you can click on here, and you can see these tasks, and you can check them. So the Kanban board with Tract is a little more tightly integrated. Um, with uh, the, the to-do list, um, but depending on how you, you like to structure your to-dos, that can, that can be an advantage or a disadvantage. All right, so there you go, guys. That's a quick overview of uh, Kanban boards in Basecamp using the new built-in card table feature or uh, the, the third-party paid extension uh, tract, and uh, hopefully that helps you guys out. I'll probably do uh, some more videos uh, on Basecamp as they add some features to the card table, and uh, we'll, we'll show you guys how, how to use that.